Hello, my name is Ardi and I will explain the step by step of nodal analysis to solve this problem here. The question is obtain the node voltages in this circuit here. Okay, the first step that we need to do is to label the nodes. Label the nodes. Here we have three nodes actually. This is node 1. We are already given by the book here. And here is node 2. And here is actually node number 3. Good. And then what can we infer from here? The node 3 is connected to the ground. That meaning, meaning that is the voltage here will equal to 0. Right? But the voltage on node 1 and node 2 is not 0. Good. And we have done labeling all the nodes here, node 1 and node 2, which is more important than node 3 in this case. Node 3 is just our reference node. So the ground is called reference node. And the second step that we need to do is to uh, assume the current direction. Assume the current direction. Okay. Usually for the branch with the current source, I just follow the arrow direction. So this is going up and eventually going to the right, right? And for this, it is going down like this. And for the other branches, usually I just use going to the right for the horizontal net, horizontal branch, and going down for the vertical branch, like this. Good. Now, after we label this, we do KCL for each nodes. So, we ne will need to do KCL for each nodes. Okay, we have two nodes here, node number one and node number two, aside from the reference node. So we will need to do KCL at node one and then KCL at node two. But the first thing that we need to do is to do KCL at node number one. Okay. And KCL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop, no, the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Sorry, I was remember about KVL. So the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, let's see in node 1 here, the only current that goes in is this current here, right? Because this current and that current are going out. So this is the only current that goes in. And because that current came from a current source, which is 3 ampere. So the value of this current here is 3 ampere. So we'll have 3 ampere here. And that is the only current that goes in. So we put the equal sign and we move to the current that goes out. Right? There are two currents that goes out. The first one is this one here. But we don't know the current of this uh yet the value of this current yet so we need to calculate it so we need to calculate it using the ohm's law how to do that we first use this voltage here where the current came from which is v1 and then subtracted by where the currents goes to which is v2 right because we need current, we divide it by the resistance between them, which is this 6 ohm resistor. So we'll have it divided by 6. Good. And that is not the only current that goes out. We also have this one. So we'll have plus sign. And again, the current where it comes from, where this is. So I will have V1. And then minus the node where it goes to so we'll have here right this one so it is the same as this one so that is zero 
So we'll have zero divided by the resistance between them, which is two ohm. Good. And I know now I want to get rid all of the denominator here, which is we multiply both sides by six. So three multiplied by six is eighteen. And then six and six will cancel each other. So we'll have V1 minus V2. And then 2 and 6 will cancel into 3. So we will have plus 3 V1. Good. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So we have 4 V1. And then minus V2. And that will equal to 18. I think nothing further that we can do from here. Let's save this as equation number. So we still need to do one more KCL at this node here. So let's write that KCL at node 2. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Good. Now, the only current that goes in is this one. And that current came from here to here. So we will have V1, the current where it comes from, the, fault, the node where it came from, and then minus the node where it goes to. So we'll have V2 here, divided by the resistance between them, which is 6 ohm. Good. And then that will equal to this current here, which is the current where, the node where it came from, V2. And then the node where the current goes to. So I will have minus. This one will be zero here. Good. Divided by the resistance between them. So I will have seven. And then the other currents that goes out is this one. So I will have 12 ampere. Good. Multiply both sides by 42 to get rid of this denominator. Right. So I will have 7 V1. And then minus 7 V2. And on the right hand side, 7 and 42 will cancel into 6. So I will have 6 V2. And then 12 multiplied by 42 is, I think, 504. Good. Okay, now let's move this V2 to the left hand side. So I will have 7 V1. And then minus 13 V2. And all of that will equal to 504. So we will have two equations with two variables from this step number three here. From doing KCL for each node. And the last step that we need to do is just to solve the resulting equation. Solve the equations okay and i think i will do the fastest way which is using calculator but you can use another method like kramer or substitution and elimination but i think the fastest way to do it is by just using calculator okay let's clean up our board and solve it using calculator Okay, we have this system of equation here, linear system of equation, and we can solve this using calculator. Let's set up our calculator here as equation solver, which is number 5. Two variables is number 1. Okay, and then let's plug in the coefficients. What I mean by coefficients is this one, 4, and then minus 1, and then 18. This is for equation 1, and then 7 minus 13 and 504 that is the coefficient that i uh, tell you this one will be 4 this one will be minus 1 and then this one will be 18 good and then we will have 7 here then we will have minus 13 and then on that right hand side i will have 500 and Good, so we will have the x value, but the x 
value is this v1 right this is the x value and then this one will be the y value so i will have v1 here is equal to minus 6 volt right because that is the x value minus 6 and the unit here will be volt and then v2 is the y value we can just use this one which is minus 42 so this is the node voltages p1 here and p2 here so this is the final answer for this question and that is how to solve a circuit problem by nodal analysis hopefully this short video will help you and thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye